All right, so I've done some modifications here on the trailer, like I was talking about doing. And uh, I got two things, so a little bit of modifications has turned into more modifications. I'm gonna flip this around. As you can see, it's not super sunny. And I'm assuming this is about what we're going to get in uh, Alaska as far as solar. What I did was I got to open this up. So I have this, which I have found out goes directly to the batteries, but is unregulated by a charge controller. So with that being said, I want to use that if I need to, but it's unregulated. So I need a charge controller to do it. Our charge controller is here. That's the charge controller for our solar panels on the roof. This is limited to 10 amps. And in full sunlight, I think I'm pulling about that. So anyways, with this being limited to 10 amps, now I've, this is also a PWM pulse width modulation so what it does is full charge once it starts getting to full charge it goes on off on off on off on off on off real fast not to they have another one called a MPPT charge controller and I have got one of those uh, for 30 amps because I'm going to change this one out and put this one in conjunction with either that or the truck so I can use the 50 watt solar panel that's up there maybe you remember the little one I'll go back to I have my my thing out right now so i've been unplugged for a few days and the uh, refrigerator runs all the time but uh what i here we go so right now i'm completely unplugged i've been unplugged since the last time i did the uh video so this is just battery power i don't know if you can read that over there it says 12.9 volts that's not enough charge the refrigerator, of course, runs all the time. If we do the heater or the water pump, it's gonna use some 12 volt power. I haven't been using any of that and I've stayed pretty well charged. It ran the batteries down and we've had cloudy days here. So being unplugged for a couple of days, it ran the batteries down to about 70%. Um, with that being said, that's all great, you know, but with the sunlight that we've had here, uh, it hasn't charged it up quite back to full capacity. So what I did up here is I have a, oh, climb up. So we had the 50 watt that it came with and I had put a hundred watt, uh, I don't know, months ago. But I just added that one. That's the one that was in the box. I've decided that we need more charge. The battery capacity with the 200 amp batteries, 100 amp hour batteries seems to be fine. So I've ordered two more 100 watt solar panels. I'm gonna take this one off, put a 100 watt there, put a 100 watt there. So I'm gonna have 400 watt solar panels. Now they're based on 100 watts. Don't look at my shot, it's filthy. The solar panels are based 100 watts on their maximum voltage output. The maximum voltage output is like 18 volts. So 100 divided by 18 is like oh, five and a half. So theoretically, they only put out about five and a half amps of charge power. So four of them should get me in ideal situations up to 20, 25 amps, which is good charge capacity. But... Like I said, my little charge controller won't do that because it's maxed out at 10 amps. So even though I didn't want to spend more money, I'm spending this money on these solar panels and stuff. At the end of the day with the new charge controller, the new batteries, the solar panels and shit, I could have just stayed at an RV park every night, but that's not the, we don't want to do that. In the long run, this is going to be great. Uh, not This will pay for itself. Uh, just on the trip to Alaska, and we'll use this thing a lot. So anyways, I did what I said I was going to do up there, but now it's turned into something else, which will be a part three, unfortunately, for this video. Anyways, back here. Whoa, uh, I don't know what's going on here. Back here, so I pulled these off. I did the uh, what I said I was going to do on here. Uh, I welded this all up. 
so I ended up having to weld a bead there. I found out this, this was just held on to this bracket, which was not connected to the bumper at all. I just put a little bead there and a little bead on the inside, but it was just one bolt back there. But anyways, it's got fat. I got some fat beads on there now. Uh, anyways, uh, I did that on both sides. This is solid as a rock. Then I put these braces that come down here. I did one on each side and one in the middle. And of course, I painted this silver to match the box. And I painted this red so you can see it. But what I'm doing, and so now that I got this put on, what's cool about it, open it up. So here I have not only my gas, my propane, my gas and my propane. I was also able to put my hose in there, my uh, power cord, basically everything, uh, my stands for the jacks, everything I need for the outside of the trailer to hook up at RV spots, which I did have under here. This is, of course, the bottom of my daughter's bunk. See, there's the kitchen. And uh, I had all that stuff under here. Now none of it's under there. So we have these of extra water we're taking. So also a cool little trick is if you have these and you, you doo-doo hose, to, you know, when you hook up to a dump station, your doo-doo hose will fit in the bumper. So if you don't want to be putting your doo-doo hose anywhere, like me, I don't want to put my doo-doo hose anywhere, but in the bumper is great. So with that being said, I have uh, the lights and stuff for here. I pulled out, they have the actual, these connections came out of there. This is a sharp edge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, a rubber or a plastic. I have some electrical stuff. I do a lot of electrical in my job. And I'm gonna push a, it's like a stress relief just to keep those from chafing on there. But it's cool because they already have extra connections. So I'm just gonna tie into that with uh, this here, these brake lights. I'm gonna put these brake lights up here. Like I said, because this box somewhat blocks that. Anyways, I'm gonna put the brake lights up here. And then also the license plate. I got a little light here that I'm gonna put right in the middle and I can put the license plate right in the middle of there and it'll illuminate it. So anyways, I just wanted to go over what I had done. I was gonna secure the rack. I was gonna add the uh, solar panel, but that in turn has turned into uh, changing out a couple of solar panels, getting another controller and uh, wiring in these lights. I don't even know if this is necessary, but to post any of this nonsense, but I wanted to document this shit. So when I get this done, when I wire the lights in and get the other solar panels up in a couple of days, I'm gonna post a point three uh, on the trailer upgrade. But this, it should be about done. I left this box where it, where it could. So I have this room between the box in here for the spare tire. I have another spare tire there. Yeah, look, I got a whole lot of tires, but I got shit everywhere, people. Anyways, I'm gonna have a couple spare tires back here. Uh, I'll rig up something fancier than this uh, strap. But for now, that's how it is. And then of course my ladder that I gotta take with me so I can get up top. That ladder goes on here perfect. I'm gonna put a couple of eye hooks and strap it down. Uh, so there, that's that. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you.